Uh, my name is Deborah Evers. Um, I was born on August 12th, 1964. And I've been painting since I was about two years old. Both of my parents were artists and I pretty much grew up in a studio. Um, I've always been kind of interested in art, but I didn't take it very seriously until I was in high school. And I really got involved with like uh, Vermeer and uh, Sargent and some of these other painters, also a uh, big Andrew Wyeth fan. And I decided as a senior in high school that I would learn oil painting, so I spent my whole summer doing a portrait of my sister and learning how to paint in oils. And ever since I started doing oils, I've never quit doing oils. I just love it. Other artists inspire me. If they're really good, sometimes uh, there is this incredible urge to sort of take on some of that energy or something that they've used to express themselves and maybe take a bit of that into my own work. What inspires me? A lot of things inspire me. Uh, other uh, art, a lot of times music inspires me. In fact, music even more than visual art will inspire me to do, to do things. I'll hear some great piece of music and go, oh my god, it's incredible. And actually somehow the Spacing in the music sort of feeds into the how I want to do compositions when I'm painting. So there is kind of a, a, a weird parallel between uh, musical uh, inspiration and my own work. What inspires me to paint? I, when I'm painting, I feel like I'm using my whole brain. I'm not just doing one little task. I go into almost a trance uh, when I'm painting. And there are several different elements that I play with when I'm painting. One of them, well, let's, all of them together. Light, texture, composition, um, color. And all of those sort of play off of each other when I'm doing a piece. Uh, light is something that has always been an incredible influence in my life. I really, something about light just moves me like nothing else. Um, I don't like afternoon light, not very often, unless it's really late afternoon. I like light that's fairly dramatic. Uh, recently, I've been adding more texture to my work, which is a whole other dimension. And I think that partly comes from my desire to sculpt, which I haven't really had time to do. But um, there is an element of actually making the paint uh, as not even the color, but just the paint itself actually become uh, part of the composition. And so I've been really experimenting with that a lot lately. And um, I'm finding that that adds yet another whole dimension to the work that I didn't uh, see before. Of course, the composition, which is uh, also the mo absolutely so incredible and important to a painting. If the composition isn't good, nothing else works. So. Uh, and making the element of actually the negative space be really almost as important as everything else. So when I've got all of those elements working together, it just keeps me completely absorbed and uh, sort of obsessed with painting and doing what I do. So, oh, then color. Um, Color is a is an interesting uh, element, and it's so easy to get carried away with it. Uh, 
I'm also, as, oddly enough, I would have to say I'm almost very conservative with my with the color that I use uh, because I could go a lot farther with it. But in order to make the statement the statements that I want, I actually have to be conservative with what I'm doing and make it work. The minimal amount to make the bit the most impact. So color really has a huge element to play within all of that as well. Um, I don't know, it's a lot to juggle, but it's really fun. I think art is really important in the community. I, I sometimes think that maybe it's become a little innocuous as more of a thing to own, but I think uh, art really has an enormous uh, impact in communities and uh, within the country, uh, that it's a very important part of expressing what's going on in our world today, even if it's, you know, if it's just beauty that we're expressing or whatever. So I think it's incredibly important that we have art in our lives and support it.